I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to design the header section of your Shopify Dawn theme. So let's dive right into it here. I'll start from our Shopify dashboard and I'm gonna head to online store on the left-hand side menu. And from there, it should open up the Shopify theme section automatically. If you take a look here, I currently have Dawn installed and let's go and customize the header section. So to do so, we'll click on the customize button here. This is gonna open up our Shopify theme editor. Now, as you can see, I have a pretty bare bones homepage here and let's go and customize the header. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna add a logo for this Shopify store, as that's gonna make this look much more professional rather than just saying masterclass-youtube. So to do so, I'm gonna to head to theme settings. Under there, you'll see logos pop up automatically. And from here, I can select a new logo. So I'll hit select image under logo here. And I'm gonna scroll down to a previously uploaded logo. If you don't have any uploaded, you can just simply drag and drop one here in this top section. So I'll click this one here without the background, click done. And now I've added a logo to my header section. I can change the logo width as well if I want to, making it really big, or I can bring it back down and making it a little smaller at 50 pixels. I can also preview this in the top right here by clicking on the mobile icon to see what it looks like on multiple devices. So let's go and customize the elements of the header section now. So I'll head back to sections here in the top left, go down to header, and if I double click on this, I can see the right side menu has been updated to include everything in my header settings. So first off, we can customize our logo position. I've already customized the logo, so I don't need to go and change that here, but we can customize the position. Maybe you want it to be in the top left, could be top center, middle left, or middle center. It's going to be up to you on how you want this to appear. I like the middle left as it's just floating left of all my menu items. Next up, we can customize the header menu. So this is the overall menu for your store. And if we wanna change this, we can click on change, we can either remove the item or go and select a new menu. Now, if you don't have a navigation menu set up, I've covered this in another video, but you basically find them on your Shopify dashboard going under navigation and creating a new menu. So that's our menu selection. Next up, we get the menu type. So we can do a drop down menu, a mega menu, or a drawer menu. If you've made any sales on your Shopify store, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. You have your revenue, your cost goods sold, transaction fees, all your ad spend, as well as any other monthly expenses. It can be a headache to keep track of. And that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It syncs seamlessly, and all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, so you can see how much money your store has actually made. It works seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself so you can start making smarter business decisions as you'll have a true understanding of your store's performance. There's a link in the description that will take you to the Shopify app store directly. You can also search for it by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. Again, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check that out. And on mobile, the menu type is going to be automatically optimized. And so this menu type is really meant for sublinks. So as an example, this shop navigation item here has camping bag as a sub menu item. What I can do is let's say I want a mega menu as right now it's currently a drop down. If I select mega menu, it's going to open up here. This is probably going to work better if you have quite a few links in the sub menu. This one only has one, so I think a drop down is probably the most appropriate. You could also just change it to drawer as well. So rather than having all the items listed here, if I select drawer, it's going to create a sidebar menu similar to what a mobile menu would look like. And this is gonna allow for more room in the header section. Currently, I like drop down, so I'm gonna leave it there. Next up, we can select our sticky header. So this will affect the scroll. So as you scroll down right now, the header is going to disappear, but I could change this to always. And if that's the case, as I scroll throughout the page, the header is going to stick at the top of the page here. You could always say always as well, and it's gonna reduce the logo size, helping to compress things a little bit. Now I would experiment with this for your store to see how if you like the looks of it, but for now, I'll just leave it on always scroll up. Next up, we can set the color scheme for the header section. By default, it's gonna be scheme one. 
this is applying to the overall color scheme and the menu color scheme. So you can change these by selecting a different color scheme. And if you want to go and add a new color scheme or edit existing ones, you do so on the left hand side menu by clicking theme settings. If I close the logo section, open up the color section here, I can go and click in any of these schemes, edit the colors or add a new scheme. To note, there may be multiple sections that use a specific color scheme. So you may be changing it for different parts of your website you might not realize initially. So if I head back to the header menu here, let's go through the last few sections. We have a country and region selector. This is gonna be based on our market settings. It gives you a link to click through to the settings section, but I can remove this here. I can see Canada and Canadian dollars were selected by default. I've set up multiple marketplaces here, but I can remove this by toggling it. And I can do the same for the language selector and it is going to be based on your store's language settings. Next up, we have some mobile layout customization for the logo. So if I select mobile preview, I can set it to be on the left-hand side or the center. I'm okay with the center here. Next up, we have spacing for the header section. So we have margin. So this is gonna be the amount of space between the header and the rest of the sections. So if I increase this here, it's gonna increase that spacing and I'm fine with the zero pixels here. Padding is gonna be at the top or bottom of this section and you can customize this to what you feel is appropriate, but I think the default does look okay. Lastly, in this header section, there is a theme settings section here for enabling search suggestions, which I'm gonna leave on as default as I think that can help people search the store. We can also select the card type here, whether it's a drawer, a page, or a pop-up notification. To note, you'll see a card icon on the top right, but I actually hit it in a recent video that I just did, so it's not showing. And you also get the option to insert your social media links here, as well as change the logo too, if you wanna do that. This just pulls from some overall overall theme settings that might be easily accessible in this menu when you're editing the header section. This concludes the video on how to design the header section in your Shopify store using the Dawn theme. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.